This was over a year ago, one of my first sprints on Jarora 605S. I don't know if I said the name correctly. That's the 3D printer of course. Since I have got it, I made a lot of projects and prints using this printer. And it's still working good after one and a half year of usage. It cost $200 and still working after such time, that's impressive. But I have to fix few things that have broken during this time. One of the 3D printed parts of this printer has broke, but even though it's still working. I also wanted to add a fan for stepper drivers, because they are overheating a little bit. And I have to clean it up, there is a lot of mess everywhere. But as I said, the print quality is still nice. So let's get to work. The first thing is to clean up all of this mess with wet cloth. Then we can start replacing broken parts. Let's start by taking off acrylic rod holder. Then I unscrewed Z-axis nut and bearings that hold X-axis belt. That's the new element that I have printed. If you are interested, link to it in the description. I have put a new part on the place of the old one. Ground a little bit a hole for Z-axis screw, then assemble everything together. I wanted to put a fan on stepper drivers, but while printing on this printer last part before those fixes, I broke the hot end fan, so I have to replace it and because I have only one fan, I decided to put it on the hot end and no on the stepper drivers. As you can see, heatsink is really dirty, we also have to clean that up. 
Now we can prepare new fan for soldering with cables from old one. Assemble it and finally solder. I used shrinkable sleeves to insulate the connections and some black tape. I also added two pieces of black tape next to the LCD because there are two super bright LEDs that burns my eyes. And finally, after a year, I took off the protection fall from LCD. Of course, after cleaning, I had to lubricate all rods and bearings. Time to test if it's still working after my fixes. But firstly, let's connect power supply again. Then plug it to the power and... Yes, it's still working. Now, I homed all axes and do quick calibration. The first print that I wanted to make is better version of Fanduct. So I found one on Thingiverse and print it out. Now it should work much better. Let's finally see how this $200 free printer works after over a year of usage and some fixes. Marvin looks decent, even quite nice actually. So if you ask me if it is worth to spend $200 on Chinese 3D printer, I will say that after over a year of using it, it's definitely worth it.